Today we're going to look at five of my pieces and see how well they live up to the rule of thirds. Hi guys! Okay, so some background info. The rule of thirds is a composition technique in which an artist divides a surface into nine equal squares, and the places where their squ squares meet are where you would put points of interest. The thing is that a well-composed piece often follows this rule completely unintentionally, meaning that where things happen to look good to your eye will probably happen to be on one of these points. To that end, I've decided to see how well my pieces fit within this rule. This is kind couple in costume at Balboa Park Centennial, and both of the people's heads just about fall within those special areas. Same thing with Janique's head, and both pairs of hands in the knitting lesson. In orangutan hanging out, the orangutan's body hits on those marks. The swan's head in Incoming Swan almost falls within this rule, and his neck does. In Cody the dog, Cody's head and tail just about fall within this rule. This is not to say that if a piece doesn't follow the rule of thirds, that it's a poorly composed piece. But if you're not happy with how your compositions are coming out, try utilizing the rule of thirds and see how things go. I got the idea to do this video from a video from Lisa Clow, in which she talks about the rule of thirds and overlays graphs over some of her pieces to demonstrate that they fall within this rule without her necessarily having meant for them to. And I've done the same thing with my pieces the best way that I can. So if you think this video helped you, click that like button down there. I upload videos Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So if you haven't subscribed already, you can do so by clicking here. And for now, thanks for watching and goodbye!